Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Blue Stars 4. Last episode, Bruno found the Team Cosmic HQ. He tried infiltrating it and then called us for backup and then we came and joined him. Took down uh, the people that stole Darkrai. I'm not sure if we got Darkrai back or not. Got a little bit confusing with the, the writing there a little bit. But we managed to escape and um, yeah, we now know the boss has found the location of Eternatus. So they've gone to go do that and we're going to continue down Route 8. And I guess get down to the uh, next town, get our next gym badge. I need a proper repel, so we don't get into like 50 million encounters. And I'm not too sure how far we've got to go. We've got Surf, so I'm assuming we're going to be surfing very soon. But we did come through here last episode, and then we saw Lissandro and the ex-champion of a different region. Um, oh, there's a cave there. Oh, and a Megastone. Nice. But I'm going to assume the, the Stario region, I think it was called? It's probably the, the region from a different Blue Stars game. Oh, do I actually need to teach someone Surf? From the way Bruno was speaking, I didn't have to teach anyone Surf. But it's fine, it's fine. Get rid of Water Pulse. But yeah, he's an ex-champion because he got defeated by Dawn. Which, not surprising because when we battled Dawn, <laughs> level 70 Lucario absolutely destroyed us. But next time, or oh, next time we'll get our revenge. Alright, so we've got this cave. Uh, yo, in this place, there is a very powerful mystical Pokemon. However, I only let you pass if you give me 30 Carbos. Can I buy for, I don't know if I have enough money. Wait, where's the Rotom phone? There it is, at the bottom now. All right, so, Pokemon, useful items. So it's going to cost 300,000 or 290,000. This better be worth it. It's a lot of money. <laughs> but we do get a lot of money from fights in this game, so it's not too bad. Alright, so yep. Let's give you that. I think I have some Ultra Balls. I was going to save the game. Probably should have saved it before, actually. So just in case Mythical sucks and then we can get our money back. But do I have Balls? Yeah, I have 53 Ultra Balls. So what have we got? We'll find out. It's a giant egg. <laughs> oh, it's an Azelf. I mean, it's it's all right. Would I use it? Probably not, but I can try and get it at least. Luckily, we saved it. Oh, I hate catching. Legendary Pokemon. I'm going for a side beam. I don't think that will kill you. Oh, that's so close. And now we just start throwing many, many balls until we get you. Luckily with the, the shortcut, we can just go super fast. And just spam L like this. There you go. We got it. Nice. Well, not too difficult. Okay, so I've been to other areas where this music plays. Like the Deoxys music. Is it, is it Deoxys like music? The only other time I remember hearing it is like when like Deoxys appears in other games. But um yeah. I assume all the other areas we get to with that music is just where other legendaries are. Do I want to get them all? Uh not really. I don't really fancy using any legendaries unless I don't know, we get something really cool. Like I wouldn't mind using Mewtwo if we get Mega Mewtwo Y. Just cause story relevant, but time to duel! Alright, Yugi. What you got for us? Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. I mean, the good thing is we're, I think, slightly over leveled. Because I think the level it, scale in this game is a bit busted. Like, I really think, like I said last episode, after, well, since the, the third, fourth gym when the level cap was 32, it just hasn't really. I, I, I felt like the levels are all decent until that point. And now that since that we got the fourth gym badge and the level cap increased, everyone's been roughly staying low 30s while we're like reaching the next level cap, which is 50. So I, I really think that like everyone around here should be at least 44, 45. That would be like a decent, decent level. Right, I'm going to just uh, avoid some fights and I'm going to quickly heal up just in case Emily wants to fight. I hope she doesn't. 
But if you do, I want to make sure I'm prepared and I can kick your butt. Alright, let's use some potions as well. Alright, that should be good. Yo, Emily, what are you doing here? Boltsy, I was following Team Cosmic members, and they're all inside the cave. They're after a mysterious Pokemon, and I suspect it's Eternatus. We need to stop them before they capture Eternatus. Let's go! Alright, so we're teaming up. Well, I say teaming up, it's probably going to be just... You're following me, and I fight everyone on my own, yeah? I kind of wish in this game, like, when we teamed up with the... You know, the rivals, it was actually, like, teaming up with them, it was, like, double battles. Like, I really like that. Like, I really hope it in, um... Like, in a main series Pokemon game, we get more of... Like, what we got in Gen 4, which is, like, teaming up random people. I don't know, I think that was one of my favourite things in a Pokemon game, it was so sick. Uh, yeah, we don't need Drill Peck, we're good. Let's just keep Thunderbolt in. You've got this Lantern. Nice. Oh, one more. Uh, but no, I think we could... Oh, Mega Banette! Alright, so Team Cosmic are starting to have Megas now. We do have the Mega Bracelet, but we just don't have any Pokemon that can Mega Evolve, unfortunately. Nice, and so now we're going to level 50. You've hit level cap. I think I'm going to lead off with... Actually, let's go Torterra for a bit. Oh, I can't wait to get Haxorus, man. When we get Haxorus... Oh, we're going to be destroying everyone, everything. Also, I want to save the game, so it's been a while. And we also caught the Azelf, and I want to have to recapture that. Be a pain in the butt. Finally, you're under my control. I'm under your control. Uh, are, you, are you sure about that? <laughs> I don't think you are. All right, go on, Earthquake. If you want to waste your potions now, I'm all for it. And you go to sleep, sweet. Took a butt ton of earthquakes, but we got there in the end. Ooh, ooh, yeah, we definitely want to switch out here. Oh, Mega Glalie. I love Mega Glalie, man. So sick. Uh, Pangoro, we will just fling through her. And then Fro, just again, keep flame through Oh, okay. You're gonna switch me out, that's fine. <laughs> Your funeral. <laughs> Alright, what we got here? Protein! Nice. So if there's like, all them other areas with the legendary Pokemon, if we have to trade items to be able to get through, like that, you know, trade in the 30 car boss, it's gonna get very expensive to go and get all the legendaries. I mean, it's good thing we get, like I said, get a lot of money in this game. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but... Whew. I think... If you want to use like a certain legendary, depending on what they have in this game, like you know, if they have gem 1 to 8 legendaries, I would recommend definitely saving it before you spend the money on the dude, and then, uh, yeah, if you don't want the legendary, just don't give him the money. <laughs> Simple as that. Swords Dance, don't need it because we've got Dragon Dance. Oh yes, finally we're getting our Haxorus. Oh dude, let's go. Let's go BB. Get that shiny Haxorus. Oh, Shiny Haxorus is one of the coolest looking Shinies. So badass. Look, the red and the black just... Mwah. It might be because, like, my favorite color scheme, I would say, is red and black. Like, I, you know, I've... I'm not gonna lie, I have quite a few red t-shirts and black jeans, but... <laughs> my character's... You know, the hero outfit is black and red. Zorog, my favorite Pokemon, is black and red. <laughs> but surprise, I've got you! Let's just say I'm, I'm a fan of black and red. Right, uh, you got five points. You got a Dracovish. Ooh, ooh. Uh, let's go for an Earthquake. It's not bad. Of course, you're going to heal up. And then I'm going to go Leech Seed. Just because you are going to probably heal up again. And I don't have much PP left on that. Uh, just going to go Earthquake here. Nice. Oh, dude, that would have been... I thought it'd be fine. I'll use the Earthquake on this, get it gone, and then I battle a Pokemon that I probably need Earthquake for. It's fine. Let's Dragon Claw ya. Let's go. Let's keep Dragon Clawing. Well, my new shiny Haxorus is so sick. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. It's great. I'm so happy I, I hatched this because one, I love shiny Haxorus, and I, I've been saying before, like, I think it was late last year. I was saying like, oh man, I haven't used a Haxorus in years. I want to use one. And I, I used it for, 
Oh, what game was it? I remember roughly where I caught it. It was... Oh, dude. I'm trying to remember what game it was. I, I remember the area where I caught it. I remember what's going around. I just can't remember the game. Anyway, I, I caught a Haxorus. And I had that, I, I still have that itch of just, I want to use some more. And this is just uh, definitely scratching it. Let's go into retreat. Oh, okay. I thought I could take another hit, but it's fine. We'll just surf ya. Oh, dude, this, oh, there you go. This is Agron does not want to die. So you won't get away. Oh, we'll see about that. Could we break this? Yes, we can. And we got the Mega Stone with a Sizzle, and I can avoid you. <laughs> right, let me uh get healed up again. It's good to be nice and healthy. Healthy, do I not any more revives? Oh, I do. But we are very low. Wait, what am I, what am I saying? I keep forgetting I can just go buy some more. <laughs> Alright, uh. Let me get a couple revives. Get a few full restores in there, why not? A few max potions. And now we'll just heal up. Oh. The Rotom phone is so broken to be able to do that. It's, it's a cool feature, but <laughs> it's a little, oh, it's a little OP, you know. I appreciate it, but uh, if you want a challenge, I would recommend not using it. Like if you want to do a Nuzlocke or something. Otherwise, you're just going to never die. <laughs> Because the amount of money you get, you can buy full restores for days. For years. But surprise, I've got you. Or surprise, I've got you. Oh, Mega Ordino, okay. Uh, let's go Leech Seed. And Bullet Seed. All the seeds. Oh, okay. Hmm. You know what? I actually didn't do too bad damage. Of course, you'd have roost. Nice. Oh, dude. I thought he was going to roost again, and I thought, oh, I'll have to be here for a while, but no, we got this. And then Mega Drain. Yeah, you can, get, you can go for a Hyper Potion, just give me more HP to steal. <laughs> oh, sucks to be you, dude. Sucks to be you. Now, Dino, back out. Give me that HP. Thank you. Appreciate it. Swords Dance. No, don't need Swords Dance. You got Dragon Dance. The Dance of the Dragon is better than the Dance of the Sword. Nice. That was easy. Uh, let's lead off someone else because Earthquake's going to have PP. Just going to use Haxorus. So we can go this way, which... You're blocking... Okay, so that's probably the way out. I'm guessing that Turnus is going to be in here. Yo, ah, I've caught you. You really haven't. All right, Dragon Dance. And then we spam Dragon Claw. Probably should have gone for a dragon dance again when you were healing up, but... Oh, Megalopony. It's fine. <laughs> oh, Hagzorus, you're too good. You're way too good. Although, actually, I'd, I'll go for a dig, actually. We'll be fine. Nice. Oh, Hagzorus. I must say it. This might... You know what? I might... I think... I think Hagzorus might be my favorite dragon-type Pokemon. I have to like look at all the dragons again, but I legit I love this Pokemon. I think it's so cool. Just keep assurance in. Nice. Uh, Cradilly, uh, I guess dig a little bit of damage. Ooh. Hound Doom, dig again. Mega Hound Doom. Oh, oh, you didn't kill me in one hit. Oh, if we get through, if we get through. No, you're unlucky, dude. Unlucky. At least Flinx can finish you off. And then finish off the Houndoom. And Flinx is almost level 50 at level cap. And we just got a two cannon, which... You know what, I might, I might keep on the team for a little bit. Just flying around is so helpful. Like, I really hate having to, like, go to the, the box just to get a Pokemon to fly somewhere or use a HM. Then to put it back and then... Yeah, it's just a pain in the butt, really. Oh, no more PP left, okay. Nice. Close combat. 
Uh, I'm gonna get rid of first press. I'm not the biggest lover of it, I'll be honest. Nice. <laughs> right, one more close combat. Oh no, two more close combats, I think. Nice. If you can outspeed Sharpedo, we win. Oh, it's a Mega Sharpedo. <gasps> oh, dude. Wait, I've got, I've got four restores. I was gonna say, you can't. Just live an attack like that and then not kill him. Whew. All right, maybe the last two, but you're with me now. I'm with you. Oh, okay, where are we going? What are we doing? Uh, let's no retreat. Get them attack, or well, not just attack, but all them stat boosts up. Close combat, nice. Close combat. Oh, Mega Manetric. Doesn't have a chance. Well, over this, I probably should switch out. Oh, I can't switch because no retreat. Honestly, Phalanx is doing a good job. Might end up dying here, but... It's fine, because we're just side shock. Easy peasy. Right. How many more grunts we got to take out? Oh. <gasps> There's a Turnitus. Incredible. We found a Turnitus. It's an excellent condition, even after all these years petrified. Yes. Wait, petrified? So maybe a Veltol? Does, doesn't a Veltol petrify like people in Pokemon? Maybe is it Veltol that defeated Eternatus? But yes, it'll be the key to recreating a perfect world according to our team's vision. You're not taking it. Oh, straight into a fight. Oh, and Emily's fighting with us. Okay, cool. Which is actually a bad thing because... I mean, luckily I got Del Fox with me. <laughs> Uh, let me... I think I'm just going to go straight for a Dynamax. Just going to max my Storm Garchomp. I think we got this. Go on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice! Good first start, and a Carmine's a little scary, I'll be honest. I'm going to go for a Max Flare on to Alakazam. Nice! <laughs> oh yes, you broke the disguise, good. Okay. And Blastoise, alright. Let's Max Mindstorm it. Oh, it's a Mega Blastoise, okay. Oh, and your Dynamax Mimikyu. We got this, we got this. Good job. The car mine's fine. Oh, never mind. Kind of sucks for you, Espeon. Full Corona. Ah, oh, we don't like a rock move, do we? Well, we had a Growlithe, but not anymore. Let's just flame for it. Mimikyu, I guess, then. If it attacks a Ditto, that's great. Oh, wait. Oh! Gets through the. Uh, I forgot Dynamax moves get through the uh, Protect, doesn't it? Well, not fully, though. Lame throw here, nice. You got your Meganium next. Ah, oh, Gyarados sucks. Alright, uh, Flame Throw Volcarona. Mega Gyarados! It's a little scary. We can win this though, we can win this. Ouch. Underbolt, please kill it. Oh, Dragon Dance is scary. Oh, I'm very nervous. I'm very, 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 very nervous. I'm gonna just revive, just in case, just in case. Oh, I'm good. I really thought you'd do a lot more than that, to be honest. Although... Oh, we just live. Them dragon dance and that Gyarados was scary. <laughs> oh, that could've gone either way, I think. We've got 33,000 there, but ha! It's too late now. Alakazam, use teleport. So we couldn't stop them from taking Eternatus. It's my fault, I should have been faster. Don't blame yourself, Foxy. We did our best. But Team Cosmic is very dangerous. So now in addition to Darkrai, they have a Eternatus in there. So they still have Darkrai, okay. We must protect Mewtwo at all costs. Let's keep hope alive and become stronger to face them. You're right, Emily. Let's move forward. Right. Uh, oh, is this way to go? Okay. Uh, what's over here then? Because you had that lady that was blocking the way. That was... How far back was it? Over here, right? Why are you blocking this way? 
can't talk to her unless I got to be off here. And this place is a very powerful mystical Pokemon. 10 HP. I mean, that's not too bad. I can do that. All right, let me save the game. I think I can afford this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so what we got? Guess we won't find out until, uh, yeah, we interact with it. So what we got? We got a Polkia. Oh, I am very weak, aren't I? Oh, this is bad. Uh, I think I'm going get lucky here. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna reset. I don't think I'll get Polkia yet. Where do we end up if we lose? Do we still end up in the place? Ah, nice. That's a shortcut back. <laughs> Tactics. Like, I'm not too fussed about getting Polkia, but if you want one, that's where you get it. Oh, it's a bit laggy here. Uh, yo, here we go, into battle. Let's do it. Mm, switching the lantern. And we're with Surfia. Oh, we got a Sil Valley. Respect. So the battle against um, the two grunts we just battled who just stole Eternatus, that was tough. The rest of the fights are just way too easy. Do you guys want to fight as well? Pokestop's about to get uh, more useful than Pokemarts. Uh, I don't think so. Just be- oh man, Flashfire. Just because you don't get too much and it costs five star coins and getting star coins is kind of hard. And let's be, let's be real. If I'm going to spend star coins, I'm going to spend it on a person that's going to give me Pokemon for free. I'm gonna use it on just a random Pokestop to get some Pokeballs, Great Balls, and whatnot. Like I said before, I think I think the inclusion of Pokestops in the game is a really cool idea, but I think it would have been better if it was like every day it resets and you just get a free spin, get a few couple, you know, a couple few items for free. That'd be so much better. Well, let's uh, look around. I like double battles. Yeah, you know what? Me too. Uh, have you studied the competitive? Uh, like I said before, not too much. <clears throat> so I'm starving. Give me, if you bring me 20 lava cookies, I'll give you 20 star coins. That's a lot, man. No, okay, I thought I got trapped in there for a second. <laughs> Is that the guy we beat before? Hey, buddy, you seem like quite the trainer. I'm eager for a challenge. How about a Pokemon battle? Battle, sure. Why not? I'm always ready for an exciting fight. Uh, okay. No, I don't know you, but you're Climb Master. Right. Uh, let's go Lantern. You can burn me. It's fine. I'm going to Thunderbolt you and you Ooh, it's fine. Let's just full restore. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. I'm going to go for a surf because you might. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's just keep Thunderbolting. Oh, Dynamax in A. That's fine, max overgrowth's good. Because now what we'll do is we will Dynamax and make it sunny. Oh. Well, this is bad. Uh, that was the wrong time to Dynamax. Oh, Ludico, level 50, this dude's destroying me. We, I think we have to win this fight, I didn't realize you level 50 as well. Because he's outside the Pokemon Center, so oh, this is bad, this is bad. Uh, I mean, I don't speed you, so I'm just going to... Okay. It's fine. Thank you for getting paralyzed. Oh, Pelipper, it's fine, it's fine, because Dragon Claw. Fine, keep... Oh, okay. Just go for the Assurance. See, yeah, I, I knew it, I knew it. See, I didn't think Assurance would kill you. That's why I was going for Dig. Man. It's unlucky. Uh, what should we do? I mean, Earthquake should be enough to take you out. Go super low, and then we'll go Bullet Seed. Nice. Ricolo, Earthquake again, or Bullet Seed? I think Bullet Seed. Yeah, nice. Bullet Seed, thank you for turning Water type. Oh, that Ice Beam, though. <laughs> oh, an Earthquake, and you're dead. Wait, oh, you got Levitate. It's fine. All good, it's all good. We win. No, you got one left. And Torkoal, uh, 
24 store. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's play a little bit safe. And we'll revive Lantern. Max Potion. A Solar Beam Man. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. So I'll just go for Psy Shock and we win. Alright, there we go. Can I use the uh, Pokemon Center now? Well, that was an amazing battle, uh, Climb Master. Your Pokemon are really strong. Thanks, my friend. You're a formidable trainer too. Congratulations on the victory. Here are two rare candies as a reward of the battle. I mean, thanks. It was a pleasure dueling you. Good luck in your future adventures. I think I just wanted to heal up, you know? I was kind of cruel putting him there, to be fair. <laughs> oh, how many times do you train a day? Uh, in this game, honestly, none. Because... Don't need to train, just fight trainers on the way and you're good. Yeah, so a lot of the NPCs say a lot of the same stuff. I'll, I'll make sure I talk to everyone anyway, just in case we get some new dialogue, but for the most part, they all just say the same thing. And there's the gym. So we arrived at the gym's entrance, Foxy. I'd like to watch your battle first, if you don't mind. Of course, Emily, feel free to watch. I'll do my best in there. Alright, we'll go do that in a second. Think about how to make my game an RPG maker. Uh, how many times does. Have you saved state in the ROM hack? Only a couple of times and I think the game's gonna crash. Only a couple of times. Ooh. Oh, got a big whale lord there. Like a whale lord blimp uh, department store. Ooh. Honestly, I can't think of anything we need to buy right now, but if I wanted to use the Arcanine still, I can get the fi Firestone there. But let's go for the gym. What type are they? They are metal and electric. Well, it's good the gym destroyer is fire. <laughs> oh, welcome to my gym. I'm Ferris, the expert in steel and electric types. Before we begin, you choose which type you prefer to face. Steel. Great choice. Get ready for the battle. Oh man, this Delphox. If you want easy mode, pick Delphox. It destroys all the gyms, man. It destroys all the gyms. All right, so I'm gonna start things off with a nice flamethrower. Nice. Now you got three Pokemon left. I'm gonna Dynamax, Max Flare. If you go for King Shield, I think we get through it, right? Come on, kill him, kill him. Nice! This is so easy. I, I just really think I should have probably picked like Electric and just made it a bit harder for myself because these teams are so. Oh, you got a Mel Meadow, eh? Oh! oh I didn't G Max though. G-Max Mel Metal is so sick. And there we go. <laughs> oh, congratulations. You're amazing. Here's the badge. Proving your victory in my gym. Dude, so easy. We got Thunder. Whew. After a few minutes. So congratulations, Volt, seeing your victory at the gym. That battle against Ferris was amazing. Thank you, Emily. His Mel Metal was truly impressive. It's the first time I've seen a Mel Metal too. It was thrilling. It's true, but I can't help but worry uh, about Team Cosmic and what they might be planning. I understand how you feel, Foltsy, but we need to believe uh, that we'll defeat them and thwart their evil plans. I know, it's just that they have Darkrai and Eternatus now. There's, that's very dangerous. Yeah, it's concerning, but with you by my side, I'm confident we can overcome any obstacle. Thank you, Emily. Your confidence gives me strength, but let's hurry to the next gym. I believe Bruno might be heading there too. You're right, we need to catch up to him. Let's go. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, uh, I guess we're just going to head north, but let me look at the map. So this will be the seventh gym, and then I guess we go this part. It'll be the eighth, and then, yeah, cool. Getting to the end of the game. All right, I'll catch, uh, catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, let me just save the game. Have a great day. Peace.